Hello and welcome to today's speed bout. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining us. And if not, then welcome back. So today I am super excited because this is my first episode of my new series where I am renovating the Sims 4 towny households. And I, of course, am starting off with the golf residence. Um, if you do not know, I had did a poll over on my community tab on YouTube and I asked you guys, you know, what townies residence residence you would want me to see first and of course the golf family did win which I expected <laughs> very much and I'm super excited about it because the golf family is definitely one of my favorite townies I just think they are so fun I love the family um I like them like although I didn't play a lot of the older sims games i have seen a lot of people play them and i love them like every adaptation of them for all the games i just love um i think that they're just such a fun family and yeah i'm so excited to be renovating their home now as you can see um i did not start off with like the original build and then edit it this is because i tried to do it that way but I, I just got so confused with what I wanted to do and then it was really difficult because I was trying to keep the furniture inside and then when I was changing the shape of the build the furniture was like hanging out the side and yeah it was really difficult so what I decided to do was I had a look I had like a photo next to me of the original home and then I kind of followed that vibe and that style and the shape as well and then I pretty much just made changes as I liked, as I thought worked. And I think this was probably the best way I could have done it. So the outside of this household, it does end up looking quite different to the original, but I think it's very obvious that it is for the goths. I tried to keep like the same aesthetic. I kept a lot of um, things from the original, like for example, the the double balcony there ends up being a little double balcony situation thing going on um i also kept the little curved area at the front i just made it a little bit smaller and it's out a little bit more um so yeah i i kept a lot of the same things i did not keep the little balcony that sits like around the whole build just because i didn't really like it um instead i actually ended up just adding like this little room on the side um but i did keep like the back patio the same and yeah a few other things as well <laughs> now um in terms of the inside of this household i did the same thing so i was looking at floor plans for like the original home and i kept them very similar so um you end up having like the kitchen bathroom dining room and living room all on the bottom floor which is how it originally is as well and then on the second floor you have Mortimer and Bella's room um a bathroom and also Cassandra's room as well and then um there's also a piano on that floor as well because that's what was in the original and then on the top floor I stayed true to the original and I of course did Alexander's room now if you don't know in the original build um Alexander's room is like on its own on the very top floor um, and I wanted to keep that but I thought it was a little bit sad how like he just had that small little room at the top of the house like on his own so I kept the three floors in this house but I changed it you'll you'll see you'll see but I pretty much um, made it so that he has a little bit more going on in that floor not just his room so there also ends up being a little game room up there um, a bathroom I think and also a laundry room so there's a few different things just because I thought that it was a little bit sad <laughs> now there is technically four floors if you include the little area behind the roof pieces that you can see um however I didn't want to make that a floor didn't want to make that into an area um just because it was a bit awkward with the roof pieces I used they were like showing through and I thought it looked a little bit weird and also I wanted to stay true to the like three floors so yeah I just kind of kept it um to the free but I still think it looks really really nice now I do end up changing the roofing um you can't see it right now but I end up changing it a little bit from how it is I originally had this kind of um pointy roof but 
I ended up changing it out to keep it the same vibe all the way around um, but yeah I think I did quite a good job of renovating this home I was sort of worried because I I was trying to stay so true to the original but then also put my own spin and then I was I, I don't usually build on lots that are this narrow so normally I'll build on lots that are wider than they are long if that makes sense whereas this one is obviously the opposite so I definitely struggled with that but I think all in all I ended up looking pretty nice so I hope you guys do like it. Now I did end up doing a poll just over on my um, community tab and I was asking you guys um, like who your favourite goth is. Now this was no surprise, the results are in people and who do we think won? <laughs> it was of course none other than Bella Goff. Um, she got 59% of the votes um, and then we had Cassandra with 23 and Mortimer and Alexander with 9. Um, now I knew that that was going to be the exact order it would be and I just, I just expected it. <laughs> I do think Alexander is underrated though, but to be fair, um, I don't think he is actually in most, if not all of the other Sims, Sims games, um, because I was having a look and it started off, it was just Bella, Mortimer and Cassandra I'm sure. Um, and then he was sort of introduced later on. I think he might have been introduced actually in uh, in The Sims 4. I'm not sure if he was, but I know that he was introduced much later on. So I think that's why he's sort of like the forgotten about one. Um, but no, I did feel bad for him just like having a little room on the top floor in his own. So yeah. That ends up ends up actually being a really nice space for him. It's really nice. Now he is a child. If you don't know, he's the youngest in the family, so he's a child. Cassandra is a teen. Bella is a young adult, and I think Mortimer's an adult. Um, so I tried to decorate the rooms in accordance to their ages, and again kept them quite true to how they originally were, except for Alexander's actually, because so his room originally had like a chess table in it and then like one dresser and then like there was a rug and a bed and it was really sad because it was his bed was also like backed up with a like behind it was the staircase <laughs> and I was like no that is so sad so his room ends up being really nice I designed it just to be for like a normal child um I did keep the color scheme the like blues and blacks because that is like his Thing. everyone in the household has their colour scheme so his is blue Cassandra's is like purpley magenta and her room is very much purpley magenta it's very very sweet and then Bella's is red and Mortimer's is black so Bella and Mortimer's room is like a mixture of black and red and it's such a cute little room I'm just so excited to move on to the inside so I can show you but we may as well talk a little bit about the outside while I'm doing it so I decided for a little pop of red on the outdoors to add in these um, trees and then also the little flowers that are on the outside as well. I added some flowers um, on the windows just in the little window boxes and then also some flowers just underneath the little double balcony thing that I did um, because I thought it was nice it was really representative of the goths. I feel like even though that is Bella's colour the goth household is quite red and black um because they're obviously like the owners like Bella and Mortimer are like the owners of the house so it's their color scheme um so yeah I tried to keep that all the way through there's also a little back garden here um which is the same as the original build I'm sure in the original there is also like a little back garden as well so I wanted to do that um now I did mention earlier that I had added a laundry room on the inside if you do not want a laundry room by the way please feel free to replace that with whatever you wanted i was actually very very close to making it a baby's room but because there is no baby in the goth family like originally of course i didn't want to add it just in case it seemed weird in case you just wanted to play with the family as it is if you just wanted to play with you know the four of them but if you wanted to renovate that and make it into a baby's room 
please do it because I think it would look so so cute. Now we have moved on to the inside and we're starting off with the kitchen. If you know me you'll know that I love to start off with a kitchen and I'm just going to apologize in advance for some of the like footage in here because it's a bit scattery I don't know what I was doing <laughs> but you're getting like whiplash with the amount I moved the camera in this it isn't like that for any other room but for some reason I think I was stressing myself out a little bit with the kitchen because I wanted it to be perfect and so I was just changing all the camera angles trying to like see this and see that <laughs> But yeah, just try and ignore that for now. But this kitchen, um, I try to keep it very true to the original kitchen in terms of the original is very big. It's a slightly different colour scheme. There's like brown counters in the original and there's a little dining table that has three seats. One of them is like a child seat and then two of them are just like normal seats. Um, that's what I tried to do anyway. I tried to keep it very similar and... I think it worked. I didn't keep the similar colour scheme, of course. I've went for this kind of like black and red in here, but I think it looks really nice. I think it works really well. Um, you don't see me on camera, but I did have a wee look at it with uh, like brown counters originally, and I didn't really like how it looked, so that's why I ended up going for the, for the black and red. But I still think it looks really nice like this. I think it's very sweet. Um, also the wallpaper I'm using is kind of similar to the original, I just made it like black. Um, obviously it's not the same wallpaper but it's got like that paneling so I thought it worked really well. Now that painting that I just put down, does it or does it not look a little bit like Mortimer? There's a few of them that I end up putting down but some of them look like Mortimer and some of them look like Cassandra so they're just kind of like scattered around the house. I think I put some in here in some oh I definitely put some in a different room but I can't remember where but I just kept putting them down because I was like that looks like them that looks like the the family I think I might have put some in Mortimer and Bella's room because one of them looked like it could be Mortimer and Bella um but yeah <laughs> I just thought that was cute now at the end of this video by the way I will have um little side-by-side -side photos of uh like the original house and then my re-endition of the house so if you want to see sort of what it looked like beforehand and the ideas that I chose to keep in then yeah please stay till the end to see that now um, as I'm cluttering up the kitchen I'm just going to take this moment to say if you um, want to see any like extra content and stuff from me I do actually have an Instagram page where I post lots of stuff I post lots of photos um, I post a lot of like interior photos and stuff just in case that's something you want to see um, it's so my Instagram is literally just ihansayt um, and yeah it's a really nice place I'm always very active on there and yeah so if you want to ever see me I also post a lot of other summer stuff so yeah if you ever want to see me over there then please feel free to follow it um, but yeah I just thought I'd mention that a little shameless plug but <laughs> you know um, now with this little kitchen here you can see that I have kind of divided off the little dining section and also I end up dividing off the other side as well because I end up putting a little bar in. I just I felt like you know what I want the best for I want the best for our goth family and I put in a little bar and I think it looks so nice. I really like the flooring that I chose by the way. I originally had chosen the one from Dine Out and then I switched it for this one which is from... Oh I don't even know. Con is it Country... No I don't think it is Country Kitchen. Um. Oh is it maybe Cool Kitchen? Maybe? It's something to do with a kitchen. Oh, Home Chef Hustle maybe? I don't know, something to do with like a kitchen, <laughs> but I don't know what one, but it's one of them. But anyway, I really like that. I think it looks really nice. I think the kitchen feels so, so cosy. Like in the original build, it was so iconic by the way. There is no hate to any of the like original builds that I do end up renovating. Um, I think they're all so iconic and so nice. I just wanted to kind of like freshen them up a little bit. But I think in the original one, although it was nice it just it felt very like cold and I feel like with this one it feels a little bit warmer because although I've chosen very dark colors 
I have kind of broken it up and divided it. Oh, here's that little picture I followed, like Cassandra. It, do you know what it looks like? It looks like Wednesday Adams as well. Does anyone else think of the Adams family though when they think of the Goff family? Because I definitely do. Sorry, I changed topic too quickly. Um, what was I talking about? Yeah, it looks a little bit cozier and warmer and just because of the way I've broken up the sections. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, um, we're moving on to the living room now. Now, in the original build, there was a chess table. So for a while in this build, I was trying to keep that and that's why there's a little chess table here. Now, I end up moving it to the front patio because I just, it was taking up an awkward room of space where I wanted to put other stuff and I didn't really like that so yeah I do end up changing it um I just put it outside instead but I love how the living space ends up looking it's very very cozy I did use these new sofas from the crystal creations kit which by the way please tell me your opinions on that kit oh it's not a kit it's not a kit it's a stuff pack <laughs> it's a stuff pack I do this every time we get a pack I call it a kit and I don't know why it's just like in my brain that everything is a kit now <laughs> please let me know though your opinions on the crystal creations pack I um recently did a little loft video where I showed a lot of the uh like what are they called objects objects and things that we got and they are really nice this wallpaper is also from it and it's just so lovely now I do end up putting a gemology table in this build as well because I thought, why not? Why not? See if anyone's doing ge gemology. It's probably it's probably this family. <laughs> By the way, if you don't know, um, the Goff family is quite like a, a rich family. Well, maybe not rich, but I'd say they're quite well off. They have, I think, I think you start off with about forty-five grand if you have them, if you have their family. So like it's not bad they have they have quite a bit of money um they're obviously not as rich as like the land grabs or anything like that but yeah I was trying to keep that apparent throughout the build as well so I was trying to keep things very like nice and kind of like put together um which I thought made a lot of sense for them um but yeah the the well, they're pretty like they're pretty good with with money and stuff so I wanted to kind of have it look that way and I think it does I think everything looks quite nice and pristine and neat and yeah it's really nice I mean they do have like a fur a free floor mansion so it's no surprise <laughs> but yeah just thought I would mention that um but yeah I use these little pillows from the modern luxe kit modern luxe kit um with the little crystal creations pack and uh, sofas and i think they look so cute together but what was i saying before yeah so the adams family and the goth family i think that they're like the same like they're so similar no i mean they even yeah they even have four four people in them i think that they're so similar and i was thinking about that the whole time i was like that's like my inspiration would be the Adams family. I just think they're so similar. I don't know if that was kind of the idea. I don't know if that's what they were sort of going for. But even with like the older sister and then the younger brother, like it's the same. Like, yeah, I don't know. I think that I think that they are very similar. <laughs> I feel like there was maybe a bit of inspiration, but I don't know. I don't know for sure. You have to let me know if you do know. Um, but yeah. Anyway, we are just cluttering up the living room. I um, end up, instead of the chess table, I end up putting two little like chairs for your sims to sit and it's really, really nice. Now, I also try to use quite dim lighting because um, in the original build, it's quite dim light and it's actually a pretty dark home in the original build. I wanted it to feel a little bit brighter than that because um, the original build is like very, very dark. I feel like maybe a little bit too dark um, but I still wanted to keep to the theme a little bit so yeah that's what I went for. Now I do just want to say um, this is obviously not a pack restricted build I didn't like only use base game or anything however I am actually really wanting to do some pack restricted builds and I think that's what my next video is going to be I think it's going to be a pack restricted build um, and this is something that I would like to do a little bit more in the channel just because it means that I sort of have like 
some builds that are not using every single pack and every single kit and i know that people um you know appreciate that and, and people like that especially people that maybe don't have all the packs or um you know only use a few of them and things like that so i think that's something i want to do a little bit more so i think that's what my next build is going to be i was thinking about doing um starting off with like high school years or something um that's one of my favorite packs if you want to know my favorite packs by the way please check out my ranking packs video because i talk about like everything that i like and don't like and yeah it's a pretty it's a pretty fun video but um yeah one of my favorites is um high school years and so i was thinking of starting off with that but yeah you have to let me know what you think um but yeah i am super excited to start doing that but i just thought i'd mention it i know that this pack is not this pack this build sorry is not pack restricted but um i think it's a really really nice innovation i just didn't want to limit myself to like a few packs because I wanted to really renovate it as best as I could and I feel like the best way to do that was with all of the packs but yeah I obviously understand that not everyone likes that and so I apologize um, but we have moved on to the dining room and in the original uh, dining room of the goth home there is actually this purple color scheme going on so that is what i wanted to keep with we've got this little purple color scheme with the with the chairs and then i did this thing with the windows because in the in the build in the original build there was a weird thing going on with the windows where they like went up so i thought i would keep that in so there's like this little thing going on where they go up and then down and i thought that looked really sweet and it was a bit different so i thought why not um also i'm like frantically moving the camera around again <laughs> i promise i don't do this on the other floors i think i was just like excited or you know when you try and look at your build from like other angles to make sure that it works i think i was just doing that but because it's sped up it looks so crazy <laughs> so i'm sorry about that but uh yeah here's me just cluttering it up it didn't add too much to this room actually i wanted it to be pretty like basic i didn't want too much going on just because i was scared of rooting because it's quite a small narrow room so yeah also i don't know if you noticed but the staircase that i used is like a wide staircase that's what they have in the original one and i wanted to keep it so that's why it looks like that however the staircase from the second to third floor is like a little thin staircase so yeah a little bit different i am um, i'm not gonna lie i originally when i did the second floor i forgot that we needed a staircase and um yeah <laughs> i had to put it in at the end i was like oh like at the end of that floor i was like wait they have no way to get up to the third floor that i'm about to do so yeah i had to like work that out but it ends up working out really well so don't worry i was really scared at first you know when you kind of panic i just completely forgot i don't know if that's a normal thing probably not but i just i do it quite often i'm not gonna lie i always forget <laughs> now there is a desk down here this is the desk from the crystal creations pack actually um and i was thinking this is probably like mortimer's desk because i gave cassandra and i also gave alexander a desk in their rooms so yeah i was thinking that's probably used by mortimer and bella probably as well but here we're moving on to mortimer and bella's room and i love this bedroom so so much now i really did struggle with this room at first but i think it ends up looking so so amazing so i tried to keep things in it like a sofa they've got um of course like their bed i also put in a little tv as well and yeah i just tried to keep with the same vibe but i i definitely changed things a lot because i wanted it to feel much cozier and it definitely does now the little room off to the side actually ends up having a bookshelf and a piano a grand piano because in the normal golf home there's this like area at the back of the house and it has a grand piano in it but I didn't have any room for that because of the way the floor plan is so I decided to just put it here so that we'd still have it now if anyone wants to use it they would have to like come through this room to get to it but I think that's okay 
I think that's fine. Um, now here's the photos that I thought sort of could have been like a young Bella Mortimer. Now obviously the girl in that photo is blonde but you know maybe maybe she dyed her hair maybe her hair got darker I don't know. <laughs> now I have a question has anyone ever like tried to play with the goth family as like vampires because I feel like they are such vampire vibes but like of course they're not vampires but I feel like they're such the vibe of vampires. I don't know has anyone ever done that before because I think that would be so so fun. I think I think it suits them. I think it really really does. Oh speaking of like things like occults I just want to say when are we going to get fairies in the game because I just want fairies. <laughs> I really do it. Like we have mermaids, we have werewolves, which are like my favorite. Um, we have vampires, you know, we've got aliens, but we do not have, we do not have fairies. I think that would be so cute. Like I know people already do it and like me as well, like fairy themed builds, but imagine we could do builds that are actually for fairies. I think that would be so sweet, especially with the cottage oven pack. Those two would just go together so nicely. I don't know. I think that's something they need to, I think that's something they need to introduce like fairy pack, but what do you guys think? Is that something that you would want or, or no? Is it just me? <laughs> I know that a lot of people still want them to add hotels. I think with Ferem, like hotels are obviously a lot more doable. Like you can kind of use stuff as hotels, but you know, not not quite. You still need to use your imagination a little bit. So I agree with a lot of summers in that we probably do need a proper like hotel kit. A kit? No, it wouldn't be a kit. It would have to be like a full pack, I think for it to properly work but yeah but anyway this is that little room I was talking about so we've got the grand piano we've got um some bookshelves I also put a little like camera and stand just in case anyone wanted to record themselves playing piano why not <laughs> there's also a guitar um yeah very very sweet this build by the way is on the gallery it is on there right now so if you want to download it please feel free um i don't know how many of you guys play with townies uh you'll have to let me know i feel like playing with townies is not super common but i know that some people do it so please let me know um because i think playing with townies is fun i think it is i don't know about anyone else see when i play the sims all of the townies around me always have like 10 children like the pancakes family they always are having kids. I feel like it probably happens in everyone's game, right? But they just do not stop. Like, they just have kids and kids and kids. <laughs> and then, like, I'm sure I've had the goth family have kids as well, like two kids when I'm playing. So I see why they would be fun to play with, to, like, have extra goths and extra pancakes and things, I think. I see the appeal to playing with them, so you'll have to let me know if that's something you do. Um, but we have moved on to the second bedroom, and this is Cassandra's room. Now, Cassandra is a teenager, so I tried to make her room very teen-like. Um, her room is so nice. I kept with this like purple and pink theme, what's well, like purpley magenta, and I used the wallpaper from the Crystal Creations pack, and then this like blackout wall for some of the walls because I just thought it looked very nice. A little bit classy as well. Now she is a very big bedroom. She's got room for a desk. She's got her bed area. She's also got a wardrobe. I end up putting like a little mess on the floor as well, <laughs> like a little clutter pile thing um now i i just had this like vibe in my mind for her room i wanted it to be so teenager-esque i wanted it to feel very lived in i wanted it to be like cozy and stuff and yeah i feel like she spends a lot of time in her room um you know i think it would be fun to like go to go to school with the goth family because I obviously play tested this as the goths and so um I did get the option for if I wanted to go to school with Cassandra but I didn't because I was trying to play test the actual build um but I think it would be really fun to go to school as one of them like are they popular I, I don't know I don't know like probably not right because like they're your sim 
<laughs> but I don't know. I just feel like they would be really fun to play with. So I think that that's like a cool aspect. But yeah, I tried to make her room very trendy and nice. I feel like she just likes to sit in here and sort of hide away. And I feel like Alexandra likes to come in here and annoy her and she's just like, get out. But obviously she loves him, but it's like that brother-sister, like, you know, that brother-sister relationship. It's like they love each other, but she just can't deal with him, you know? <laughs> younger sibling. Now, I am actually the younger sibling in my family, so I am like the annoying sibling. <laughs> but, you know, I'm going to pretend that I can relate and that younger siblings are so annoying. <laughs> but anyway, um... Her bedroom is pretty straightforward. I think it's so sweet. I love decorating this room. I just didn't want to stop decorating it. You can probably tell. <laughs> but I just... I thought it was so fun. I gave her a little backpack as well. I think that's one of the best things they did, by the way. Like, going back and doing the whole redoing, like, backpack swatches. I love it. I think it looks so nice. <laughs> um, But yeah, I, I may as well ask while you're here is what family do you want me to do next do you want me to do the pancakes do you want me to do a land grab do you want me to do someone someone else like let me know because i will probably be doing a poll over my community tab so like you know have a little look for that keep an eye out but if you have anyone in mind and you're like no i really want you to do it please just comment down below because i'd love to see who you think i know in a lot of the newer worlds there was actually a lot of simmers that decorated the home so a lot of the homes in like Sansa and stuff are beautiful um but yeah these like base game ones like willow creek and oasis springs they're a little bit more outdated so i just think it's fun to kind of you know go over them and you know just make them a little bit more nice and trendy but i know there's a lot of uh there's a lot of like rules that summers have to follow as well when they're decorating houses like i don't think they can have like baby dot move objects on obviously they're limited to only base game and the pack if you know if it's got a pack um and yeah there's a lot of like restrictions and stuff and they can only have a certain amount of objects in the house and also usually there's a uh what is that called a budget as well so yeah there's a lot of things to keep in mind to with other like households that there is i just think they're so fun to decorate though like to refurnish and kind of put your own spin on it so yeah i think it's very cute but here we're moving on it to the third floor and this is of course alexander's room we're starting off with and his room is so cute i think it's so sweet i just went ham on all the kids stuff it's very very nice I love it. I added a desk. I added I honestly made him like so spoiled. He's got everything in here. Um he's got a blurfy and yeah, you know, he's got the top floor. He's probably got a really, really nice view. So <laughs> it's a very cute room. He's also right next to the games room. So he could like get up in the middle of the night and play darts if he really wanted to. I mean, his family you know, if he was quiet enough, his family probably wouldn't hear him, so <laughs> now in the original home i'm pretty sure they don't have electronics like they don't have tvs or they don't have uh computers and things like that but i did add them to this um so sorry <laughs> sorry to take away that lore but i just wanted to add them so that it could be properly usable for your sims but yeah i'm sorry about that i thought i'd mention it <laughs> just in case anyone was thinking it but yeah now another thing i just want to mention if you by any chance want to see any extra polls and things by me um please make sure to have a little look at the memberships section of my channel um you can um join a membership and you can get some extra perks and things um one of them is that i will help you with your own builds as well so if that's something you're interested in then yeah the option is there but i just thought i would mention it um just in case you hadn't seen it or that's something you're interested in um but yeah so moving back onto this little room 
as you can see it is very cluttered it just looks like a kid lives here which is definitely what I was going for I think he also spends a lot of time in his room and yeah I think you know when he's not annoying his sister he's probably in here playing on his tablet I didn't actually give him a computer because he's I mean I know children can use computers but I just I wanted to keep it <laughs> I wanted to keep it kind of realistic and I thought I'll just give him a little a little tablet and he can use that <laughs> but here we're moving on to the games room now in here it ends up being badminton table is that what it's called I think it's badminton yeah badminton table and then also a dart sport um oh this is me just adding some extra clutter to his room <laughs> but um yeah there ends up being those two activities and then there's like two little chairs and also a big tv that takes up most of the wall as well so yeah this is the gaming room i can imagine that mortimer is in here quite a lot i think that he probably enjoys it in here <laughs> i think that he likes to go here and just hide from everyone <laughs> so yeah I thought that was really nice and just a nice thing to add as I was saying I just didn't want like Alexander to be to have this whole floor empty or like just have his room on the top floor I think that's so sad like when I was looking at it in the original build I was like that's such a shame <laughs> like if that was me I'd feel so lonely I know like some people like the space but I think I just feel a bit lonely <laughs> especially because he's a child you know he might feel a little bit alone so I thought this was nice now there's a picture I use in this room and I also think it looks like two people from the goth family it looks um oh no it's one person I think it looks a little bit like Cassandra but like if she dyed her hair <laughs> oh something I should probably mention by the way I was wondering if you guys would be interested I was thinking about also not only like renovating sims townie homes but also doing like makeovers for the sims townies so this would be like you know the goth family I would like pretty much I would be using cc because of course like how could I not? For for Cass, I feel like using CC would be essential. But yeah, using CC and like decorating, well, makeover, giving makeovers to the townies, like the, the goths and things. I thought that would be really nice if I did that, like after each renovation. So please let me know if that's something you'd be interested in seeing because I think it would be a really nice idea. I would love to have a little look at the goth family and see what I could do to make them look a little bit more trendy and stuff and yeah I just thought that would be fun so you'll have to let me know you'll have to let me know what you think about that um but yeah we are actually coming to the end of this video so I do just want to say a massive thank you so so much for watching if you did enjoy please make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already and yeah let me know which family home you want to see me renovate next bye